So we left off with our project over here and we have basically the home page mocked up on our Plenty site. So this is our Plenty version of that same website. There's some small style details that we have to fix, but we'll go back and do that later. I think the next best step here is to actually go through and start creating some of these internal pages. So the first one that comes to mind here is this blog page. Now the blog page has various blog posts on that page. And what I want to do first is I want to create a new content type for these blog posts and then create the end nodes for those pages. So the end node for this blog post right here, if I click on it, you see this is the end node, it's at post one here. And it has an image, it has a title, and then it has this long varied text with a lot of different elements on it. So this is basically a big unstructured field that is used to demonstrate all the different things that you can do to render different elements within your site. So if we were actually to go over here to the big spring GitHub page, let me go to the, the GitHub page over here, and look at that specific content type. So inside the example site, if I were to go to content and look inside the blogs, I can see these posts. So I could go to post one here and you'll see that, actually let's see the, the raw rendering of that markdown file. So we have some front matter up here and that's where we're getting the title and the date and the author and things like that. But then we have just an unstructured field down here and then we're writing markdown. So we're adding some different headings and break tags and things like that, some links. So you can do all those things, but I think what we want to do to start is just have the structured field. So that's like the image, the title, and uh, an author probably. Well, I'm not sure they even do an author. They do a date here. So we could do something like that. Just take those couple fields there and make those structured. And then we could have just a general body field. And I think for now, what we should do is we should just focus on this paragraph. So we'll have this paragraph text here uh, underneath this image with this text here. And I don't actually see where they're displaying the date. Maybe they're displaying that at the bottom. It doesn't look like they're actually displaying it in the template at all. So maybe we can leave that off for now. Uh, but we'll just create these basic node pages. But the first step is to come into Plenty and create the new content type. So let's go over here. And in our project, I'm going to create a new terminal window. So we can keep our server running. And I'm going to add a command. I'm going to say Plenty new type. And let's call this posts. So posts short for blog posts. You can see that it says it created a new source of content here in the content posts folder. So it created a new folder over here, content posts. And it added a blueprint.json file here. We're not gonna worry about that for now. We're just going to add some posts into this folder here. And then it also has a layout content post.svelte file. So this is the template that will actually render the content that we're going to be creating. So let's take a look back over here. And if we were to look back into this folder here, you see that they have Simply put posts one through six, we can do the same thing over in our project. So let's come back over here and in here, I'm going to create a new post. So I'm gonna write a new file. I'm going to call this post1.json, press enter. And then our JSON is going to have some information in here. So let's make sure it's valid JSON with the curly brackets. And then we're going to give it a title and our first title here, let's take a look. This is our first title. We're going to have an image. And this is probably going to be an object so we can get both the source and the alt. So that's the alternative text for accessibility. So let's take a look here. Make this a little bigger. And so this is our post one JPEG. So we can do something like that. So we could just call this assets. Or we can just say post one.jpg. We can prepend the assets in our template. So even though this is going to be serve off the assets folder, we don't need to put that there yet. So post one JPG and our alt text will be um, abstract color painting, abstract color uh, painting with bright colors. Okay, so we have that. Maybe we want to add some additional information in case we want to update this template um, a little bit differently. Let's, let's just add an author and I'll just say that I'm the author and 
Let's give it a date as well. And I'm not going to do a special timestamp. I'm just going to say, okay, today is 1 8. So we can say 1 8 2020 as a string for now. Save that. Now I can come here and let's duplicate this several times. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste a new file in here. So paste and I'm going to rename this. Instead of post one copy, we'll say post two. And let's just do the same thing a few times. So paste. So let's just do five of these for now. Come in here and post five. Okay, so that's good for now. And we'll just update some of these titles and things. So I think for the most part on this blog page, they actually used the same title for most of these, but there's a couple different ones in here. So if we go to the second page and you take a look, there's a different one here. So I can come in here and I can grab this title, this image. So let's grab this for our second blog post and we'll use that as the title. Let's see what image we're using here. This is post two. So I think the other ones were using the same image as well. And it's kind of the same idea. So it's an abstract painting with bright colors. That's okay. Post on the same day. That's fine. Let's go back. And let's get this last post here. And let's put this in post three. Capitalize that first letter. And let's see what the image is here. Post3.jpg, okay. That's good, and then so we can leave four the way it is because we'll just repeat again. And then let's get the content from two and we'll repeat that as well. So copy for two, go to five, and let's just paste over this. Okay, so now we at least have some variability from our posts here. Now, if we were to go to our Plenty website and reload this, you notice here that there's nothing on the blog page. We actually don't have a blog landing page yet. So this is a 404 not found. Now, if you want to see where our individual posts are coming through here, you'd have to go to a path based on the file structure. So we're in our content folder, then we're in a folder called posts, and then we have the file name. So post1.json, you get rid of the JSON, so it basically would look something like this. You would have posts, that's the folder. Then we have post hyphen one, that should be a valid path. And you see here, it's serving up a page, but there's no content on this page. Now, the reason that's happening is if we go back over here, and we look into our corresponding template for this, and we look into our post.svelte file, you notice that there's nothing here. So we could just add an arbitrary title. For instance, we could say, this is a post. And if we save that, we come over here, reload that, you see that we have this is a post title here. So what we want to do is we actually want to make it look like this though. So we want to pull in the actual title, we want to pull in the image, and everything like that. So we can come in here, we can actually grab a lot of the markup again like we had been grabbing before. And we can grab this whole section here and add that. So let's do that. Let's edit as HTML, grab that, select everything. And let's come over here and let's get rid of this and paste this HTML in here. Now, a lot of this has to do with the individual styles and things that they were adding here. So we don't need most of this. What we need is our section, container, our row. We want our image there. We want our title. And then we just want that paragraph tag. So let's come all the way down until we see the paragraph. Okay, so this is where the paragraph stuff starts. And then that's the paragraph. And we can get rid of all this. Okay. So now it's a lot smaller. We're getting there and I'm going to just 
do a couple things here. So I want to make sure I'm getting the values from our content source. So I'm going to add a script tag at the top. And I'm going to say export let and I'm going to get the title and let's see here. So we have title, we have an image. We should actually add a body field here. So that's one thing I didn't do. Uh, let's add our body field back in here. And for our body, let's just use the same lorem ipsum text for every body. So I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna paste that in there. Okay, and let's just copy that over to our other post as well. Okay, so we have those in our posts. Now we can actually pull them into our template here. So let's get the body, let's get the image. And for now, we can leave off the author and the date um, since it doesn't look like we're displaying those anywhere. So let's come back in here and this is going to be changed from this absolute URL here to a relative URL. So we want that last bit there, which we're going to get from our content source, but we're going to want to prefix this with our assets folder just so it can serve up the static assets. So we'll put assets here and then inside here. Let me just look over here again one more time. So we didn't prefix this with a forward slash, so make sure you put that here. And then we'll say image dot src. So we'll get the source from that. And then the alt text here. We'll say that this is our image alt okay and then this text in here is our title so that's simply a title and then we have our paragraph text down here so let's get rid of this so this will become our body. And now we have this interesting thing where it's, we have this title for our body. So it's just like a heading here that says paragraph, if you come and look over here. So it's this little heading here. So it's not really the title, but it's a heading. Now we could do this a couple different ways. We could actually take this HTML here and um, you know we could create a new field in our um, content for that heading or we could just grab something like this. We could grab that HTML. And if we were to put it in our post, put it right in the body here. Now, a couple things we wanna do is, so this ID here is using double quotes, which is trying to close that string. So you could just simply change that to single quotes or you could escape it. Let's just change it to single quotes to make things easy. And now we have a paragraph right in this body. And we might wanna do something like this as well wrap this in a paragraph tag, go to the end, wrap this in a paragraph as well. And let's copy this and let's just save and put that across the rest of these as well. Okay, and then if we come back over here to our post.spell file, we can actually use the at HTML reference and this will allow the HTML that we have in that component to come through. So we'll get the actually H5s and the paragraph tags that we added there. So if we save that now, we come back to our page here and reload this. Okay, so we're starting to see something that looks a little more similar to what we want. So the footer's overlapping here a little bit. So there's some, some problems going on and our image isn't loading. That's because we actually haven't saved any of the images. But let's go through and we can make some of those adjustments. So let's first go and get the images. We'll come back here. I'm going to save the first image and I'll just save this to the desktop. So image three, then let's go back here and let's get image two. And then let's get image one. Oh, 
that's image six apparently. So I guess there are more images here. I wasn't paying too close attention. Let's see here. So this is image one. Okay, well, we're going to reuse images a little bit more, but let's just save this as post1.jpg to the desktop. And then let's make sure that we have those images uploaded here. So let's go into our assets folder and we can just upload those images here. So I'm going to grab these and I'm going to drag them over. Okay, so now we have those images uploaded there. Let's come back to our page here. Let's reload this. So we have an error here. Let's see what's going on. If we go back to our server, server looks okay. Let's come back over here and reload this. Okay, so it must have just been building when I reloaded it. So now we have the image here and it's kind of starting to look like this. I'm gonna get rid of this and that looks okay. That looks okay. We have the paragraph. The paragraph looks okay. There might be some style overrides there. That looks fine though. And okay, so now the footer, I'm not sure what the change was. It must've been how the image is being styled or something along those lines, but the footer looks okay again um, in giving the spacing to this. So this is, this is pretty good. This is exactly what we want the blog post to look like. And let's just make sure that we have our blog post two. So blog post two is there and blog post three, and then should repeat blog post four, should look like blog post one and so forth. Uh, I think we have five. Okay, great. So those are working now and we don't really have a way to serve those up yet. So in the next step, we're gonna have to actually go and create a aggregate page. So the all blog page, so this would be the forward slash blog. And then we'd use those to bring in all the different posts and display them with a paginated output, just like you're seeing over here on the all blog page. But since we have this done, I think that's good for this video and we'll move the all blog page into the next video. So stay tuned.